Well, it's here, my Lady Dior from Fashion File. Um, the box got a little crushed here, so I'm a little bit concerned with the condition of how the bag is gonna be inside the box, but we will see. I mean, Fashion File did put fragile marked tape to close the box, but obviously um, UPS did not pay attention. <laughs> the good thing with Fashion File is that they will accept returns for any reason, so long as you don't take the tags off. And this is the receipt. Um, and I purchased this for $3,775 plus tax for just over 4,100. So this is the Lady Dior in the supple or the softer um, calf skin. It's got the flap opening and it's got the so black hardware and it has the more stiff or angular, newer um, Dior charms. I have to keep this tag on if I'm thinking about returning it. It's got the C, D, there and there. It looks like the hardware all looks like it's in really good condition. No scuffs or scrapes. Um, I'm gonna check the corners. They all look good. There's a little bit of creasing here, but like I said, this is the supple design, so it's not unexpected. And this is the guitar strap strap for this design. This was made in 2018, and it's got the So Black studs on it as well on both sides. It all looks great. This looks really good too. It says Dior right here and it's got a good heft to it. And I believe folks normally put the strap on the outsides, on the opposite side of where the charms are. So it's not like perfectly rectangular here. You can see a little bit of warbling. There's a little crease here, but I don't mind that. I do love that it's calfskin, not lambskin. These handles look great. The hardware looks good. Yeah, I think this is a keeper. And the feet on the bottom is also so black. And it's not the more pointy cone-shaped feet, it's the flatter feet. But that all looks good. And it comes with the little charm pocket, as well as the Dior dust bag. Um, and it was supposed to come with an authenticity card, which hopefully is in here. It's got the little tag, the booklet, and the authenticity card that's never been filled out. Wow. So that's it. I think it looks amazing. And inside it's all that black suede. It is a heavy bag. Two pounds, 12.1 ounce. Um, but I think that's from the studs and the hardware and the strap with the hardware, with all the studs. It's just stunning. I think it's the perfect combination of Lady Dior elegance with the edginess of the So Black hardware. I've been wanting both um, separately. I didn't care what kind of So Black um, bag I was going to get. I was looking at sh some Chanel's earlier, but I mean, this is just stunning. I am seriously in love. And this is an anniversary gift for um, our anniversary. That was actually yesterday. <laughs> I am thrilled. Oh, I love it.
Oh, that's beautiful. I personally think that looks better when it's handheld rather than crossbody. Because I think Yeah, that, it's just this is for convenience. Yeah. Strap is gonna look amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that's like this not, guitar strap is so special. Yeah. And they didn't cheap out on it. They put studs on both, both sides. sides. Yeah. It's great. Oh, and there's no does this scratch? I I mean, I've obviously all Black hardware can get scratches. Mm -hmm. But it looks great. But I didn't see any scratches on this hardware. No, yeah. no. Oh my God, this is in pristine shape. It's soft. Yes, it's soft. It's mm -hmm. the, the supple, S-U-P-P-L-E, oh. supple. Versus a, the regular Dior, I think it's much harder, it's, right? It's more box-like. Yeah. yeah, it's this stiff. Is, this is not stiff at all. No, honestly. it's very like squishy. Mm -hmm. That's what the supple is supposed to be. Mm. So it's kind of an interesting combination of, you know, like the puffer, bags that people like right now that yeah, but are the like bottom squishy. is bottom's got something it's it's hard right the bottom yeah, like bottom's this bottom hard, so you base. shouldn't be squishing it not down there no but, but like here, up here you can totally squish it oh yeah. Mm. yeah that's a medium size right yes i think i would want a small for me yes i don't know i don't think they made the small oh, really? in the studded black hardware mm. um i know that they made the medium in this and they made a mini in mm. this mm. minis are too small Okay. But I don't think they made a. It's small. gorgeous. Congrats, congrats. Woo. Very so nice. So there is a little bit of creasing right here. Can't even tell. Oh, I see. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. That's the only damage that I've seen on it's this. It's really bag. not a damage. I think that's just part of it was used. It's not a. Yeah. I mean, it's not pristine. And I they would didn't describe it as pristine. Yeah. They I describe it as very I think good. it's pristine. Oh, really? This was very good. Mm -hmm. I think it's excellent. It looks like it's an excellent shape. I would put. Are you gonna get a bag organizer? Yes. Okay, but get a bag organizer. Mm -hmm. For now, I would put um, stuffing when you're storing it. Yeah, we'll check out. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. This is great. Wow. I, yeah, I think it looks really pretty. Just and handheld. I think most oh, yeah. People, mm -hmm. especially with the So Black hardware, mm -hmm. and because if you just leave the strap on mm -hmm. and leave it dangling, yeah. it can cause marks from swinging. What can cause more? The strap hanging this way. If yeah. I didn't have it on, but yeah. I just had it hanging down because of this. Metal. Oh, oh, the metal. Oh, you mean, oh, this will, yes. this will swing Back if you're, and forth, right. if I'm not, if you're not wearing it as a crossbody. Cross so um, even I, those I watched a review that says, well, I don't know. This guy that had it um, in China. And he said he left the strap on uh -huh. and he would he was saying, you know, because he did, he could see a slight wear wear mark here. Oh, because the strap was like hanging down. Hanging down and swishing around. When he was carrying it like handheld or in the crook of his arm. Uh, I th is that true of most bags? I would think so, actually. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I hadn't really thought about it I until he I said wouldn't it. think that this is unique to Lady Dior, especially calfskin. I don't know. What did his have these little studs too? No. Okay, maybe that's why, because I feel like the studs could protect you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Excellent, though. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Thank Beautiful. you. I think it's. That, does first... this bother you? This is sharp. It's interesting. When I tried the small Lady Dior, mm -hmm. this under here mm. felt sharper to me. Mm. This doesn't bother me at all. Really? Yeah. Because it is a little I think sharp. Over it's time, not rounded. At the no, bottom. it's not a round bottom. Mm -mm. It. It's got like a rounded outside, yeah, I know, outside but, the but bottom, not the bottom is in the... It's but it seems to me for whatever reason this didn't it doesn't bother you it in doesn't the size bother medium. me and mm. I think that maybe because of the two handles coming together mm. it's not like all the pressure see there's like a little space so it's hitting on two parts of my arm rather than mm -hmm. rather than one right, only right so it's it's distributing like, the, the distributing weight the weight a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. I never liked Lady Dior, but this is gorgeous. Although, I don't know about the studs. This would bug me, I think. Does this bug you? Although, no. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. You know, I think maybe this, the it's classic. It's not very secure, though. No, the classic one. With a zipper? With, no, with the flap. Oh, yeah, yeah. But not the supple version. Uh -huh. I think it's harder to get in oh, and out. Oh, because I've tried the classic. I've mm -hmm. never tried the supple, but this is really easy to open and close. Yeah. Versus a classic, I felt like it was really stiffer. stiff. And I was like, ah, that's too yeah. much of a pain. I thought that too. And I saw a different ass. guy who did a review on YouTube and mm -hmm. he said, you know, the one thing he would say is that potentially, I mean, his was, he bought pre-loved also, mm -hmm. but he said, you know, 
conceivably, if this was open mm -hmm. and it fell mm -hmm. off of a chair or something, yeah, everything all your things could come out. Yeah, sure. So, but he said... It's pretty to cover it up. But how functional is it to keep your stuff in? I think pretty functional. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Hell, people carry carry totes with no top with at wide all, open. wide open. Right? Yeah, Birkins so, are wide open. Sense. Well, not yeah. That's how people carry it. That's how people use it. Yeah. So what's the difference? You know, I'm gonna have to look at this again. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, I've seen the supple version with the grained mm, calfskin, mm. and for whatever I think that's reason, too. it I think it's much more user friendly than the lambskin. Yeah. But I do think that. The grained calfskin, mm. for whatever reason, it makes the bag look older. Just the graining on oh, the Oh, right. This is very smooth. I wonder this if they could scratch so, easily, though. I haven't Who heard knows? of any complaints about that. Really? Other than the strap thing. With right. that one I'm on it. a search for a smaller one of these. Or a beige one, like a neutral nude one. <laughs> and you don't want studs. So oh, it would the weigh studs. less. Yeah. I don't know. I saw gold stud of this, and I thought it was really pretty. It's very pretty. I just have to get over that chicken pox thing. I can't even stand see, stars, I, I don't, so. See, that doesn't... The chicken pox thing with, like, ostrich skin oh, I really bothers Oh, I can't stand ostrich really skin. Really cannot me. stand it. But I, this, you to, pay me, me to me, I feel like is so modern, and the there's a clear design, which chicken pox wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's why this doesn't bother me, whereas, like, ostrich really does bother me. Oh, I can't stand I feel ostrich. like this is more like polka dots. Hmm. And I feel like because of the matte leather mm -hmm. and the matte hardware, mm -hmm. it's, it's subtle too. It's mm -hmm. like a wow bag, but yeah. because it's black on black, yeah. it's a little more subtle too. Someone has to really look at it. Right, right. It's very it's pretty. It's not screaming like, look yeah. at me. Right. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'll get over the dots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more bags. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let me know if you have the Lady Dior and what you think of it. And if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up and click the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload more videos. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.